What's up guys, I wanna do another quick video comparing the crop sensor cameras from Sony to the full frame cameras from Sony. So if you don't need two card slots or a weather sealed body, if you don't do professional photography or professional video, this is all you need. The ZV-E10 that we're filming on right now, it's all you need. If you're just a YouTuber, you got the flippy screen, you've got the same color science, and it's an excellent camera. You really can't tell a difference in the video quality if you have the right settings. So we're still on the ZV-E10. This camera has better image stabilization in camera with the active stabilization and in post because it's got that gimbal-like stabilization you can get in that in Catalyst Browse. Right now we've got the stabilization turned off and this is as wide as it goes. But don't think I'm just saying that this is the camera for you because there are definitely benefits to the full frame Sony camera as well. So now we've got the active image stabilization on and I'm hand holding the camera without a tripod or anything like that, just in the hand. You can see how stable this camera is, just in hand. It's a nice looking image. It's got that face exposure priority so it keeps my face exposed properly even when I turn it and I'm backlit. So now we're filming on the a7 III. So if you have to do any kind of professional photography or video, you need to get a full frame camera and a camera with two card slots like this. You can use full frame lenses and get a much more shallow depth of field. We're shooting in crop mode right now on a crop sensor lens. This is still the same 11 millimeter 1.8. It's a really wide lens, so you're not gonna get a really shallow depth of field. And I'll walk around, show you the stabilization. There's IBIS, but there's not digital stabilization, like the active stabilization we were using on the ZV-E10. All right, so I've got the camera off the tripod now. I wanna test out just walking with the camera. So there's no stabilization in the lens. The camera does have IBIS, but it doesn't have any digital stabilization, like active stabilization applied to it. I feel like for some reason I do get a more flattering look with the full frame camera. I think it does something to the skin tones and it gives you this little 3D pop with a lot of the full frame lenses. So the ZV-E10 actually has a better built-in microphone. I'm using the built-in microphone on the a7 III. This camera's better with a shotgun mic, for sure. But when they built the ZV-E10, it was designed for vlogging, so they made it a little better for just built-in audio. So they made the built-in mic a little bit better. So now we're on the a7 III. So this camera should have much better dynamic range, but it's probably worse for vlogging because the stabilization's not quite as good. And it's bigger, heavier, more expensive. You know, you might be scared of damaging it, but there are definitely things that this camera would be better at, like professional photography, professional video, anything you need a backup card slot. So there's two card slots in this camera. And yeah, it just, it can give you more than the crop sensor because you can get a more shallow depth of field if you're using full frame lenses like the 85 1.8 or the 20 millimeter F 1.8. This is still the same crop sensor lens. I'm in crop sensor mode. I'm not in full frame mode. If I was in full frame mode, you'd see a little square with black all around it because this lens is designed for crop sensor cameras. So the fact that the lighting was bad in the last clip is actually a good thing because it proves my point about how having a flippy screen, a screen that flips around, actually makes it easier when you're filming yourself. So now I've got a screen to look at, the monitor above the camera, and I can see if I'm like crazy overexposed. I can see little zebras. I see a little bit of zebra right here. And actually now we're filming on a 35 millimeter f2.8. So how does this look? This is the a7 III again. So the full frame camera. So this is not really much of a vlog lens. You can't really 
walk around if I'm holding the camera I can't really get my entire face in the shot but you can get a little bit better background separation with a longer lens like this so I'm right next to the background but you can see there's a little more separation the lighting has changed a lot it's a totally different day so a little bit later in the day we'd have a little bit better light over here I'm kind of really backlit in this situation but yeah that's the 35 f2.8